Hey everyone. In this video, we will talk about workspace access in the Power BI service. So in Power BI service, you create workspaces where you publish your reports or you create your dashboards or you've got your data sets sitting there. So you can, you can give access to people or specific users on that workspace. And there are four main um, uh, user groups. So you've got the admin, you've got the contributor, you've got a member, and you've got one more. So we'll just go on here. Uh, so you've got admin member, contributor, and viewer. And I've just got a brief overview of what it looks like. So an admin essentially has uh, the maximum privileges. And in terms of the hierarchy of privileges, you've got the admin on top. The next level is the member, then the contributor, and then the viewer. So viewer can basically just open a report, and then he can uh, click the items and view uh, the interactivity between those reports. And he can also read data in a workspace but he cannot schedule a data refresh. So a viewer doesn't have any permissions outside of just being able to view the content and making sure that he can interact with it. And then he can uh, look at the data flows. Uh, so the next level from a view on top of the viewer is a contributor. So he can uh, basically publish report and delete content and he can also schedule data refreshes. So uh, he definitely has that capacity, uh, capability, but he cannot reshare content. So a contributor doesn't have the permissions or the ability to reshare content. Um, so, and then you've got the next level, which is a member. So he can, a member is essentially ab also able to add uh, users, any, any user who's a contributor or a viewer. He's not able to create an admin or give admin privileges to a user, but he can definitely give lower level privileges. And on top of and on top of everything, we've got the admin who can create and delete workspaces, and he can add, remove admins, and delete people from those workspaces as well. So um, let's just go to the Power BI service quickly and see where we can access this setting. Um, I'm already logged into the Power BI service here, and we'll just go to my workspace. Uh, and over here on 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 this on the right, uh, you can see access. So if you click on access you are able to see, so I'm the admin here, and let's say I want to add uh, another user, and I can make him, uh, let's just say, I'll make him an admin as well. So all I need to do is hit add, and he will get added, so you can see that he's been added. And I can I can make another user, let's say I want to make another user, and uh, I'll just add this one as a contributor, and I'll hit enter. So you can see it's fairly quick that I'm able to uh, make these changes and add these people on here. So uh, this is how you can do it and access it. So let's just close it. But there's another way you can access the same setting, which is essentially go on, click on the workspaces on the left-hand side, and it shows you all your workspaces. And then you can see these three dots. So if you click on these three dots, you can see workspace settings and workspace access. So if you click on workspace access, it essentially brings you to the same uh, uh, place and you can, let's say I want to remove or make change this to uh, let's say viewer only and uh, Ramesh also, I might make him an admin. So um, it's just one way where you can, uh, well, there are two ways to access this uh, bit I, and uh, grant uh, privileges on the workspace to specific users. So just to recap in this video, we've covered what are the various major uh, permissions in of on a workspace in the Power BI service, and there are four of them, which is admin, contributor, member, and viewer. And uh, then we discuss what are the various privileges and how do we access these settings. Um, so I hope you find this video useful, and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.